Okay, question six. Member BC, so this member here, experiences a compressive load which equals uh, 12 kilonewtons. It's made of uh, structural steel which has a diameter of 20 millimeters and a Young's modulus of 200 gigapascals. Select the change in length experience in this particular member. So have a think about it and when you've got an answer, press play. Right, so I'm going to need some of this data here. So actually let's first work out what I'm going to do. So we've got this, this particular member. We know it's got a compressive force of 12 kilonewtons. So the force that's uh, in BC is minus 12 kilonewtons. Um, and we want to work out uh, its change in length. So therefore, all we're going to do is say that uh, strain is change in length divided by original length. Is that what I'm working out, I think? Yeah, calculate the change in length. So the change in length is going to be the strain times by the original length. How do we find the strain? We we'll go to Young's modulus. Young's modulus is stress over strain. So therefore, strain is stress over Young's modulus for a uniaxial load. So therefore, I can say that the change in length is going to be the stress times by the original length divided by the Young's modulus. Well, we could put even more algebra in there if we wanted to, because I know that stress is force over area. So therefore, I can say that the change in length is going to be the force divided by the length of the bar. Um, sorry, the force times by the length of the bar divided by the area. And the area I'll put in as pi d squared over 4 and times by the Young's modulus. So that will give me the change in length. So what numbers do I need to put in there? So change in length equals force is 12. We we'll ignore the sign. What's this length here? Well, we worked out that it was a 3, 4, 5 triangle. So 3 here, 4 here, and a 5 there. So the length of the thing is 5. Uh, I think it said 30 millimeters. <coughs> no, 20 millimeters. So I've got pi times 20 times 10 to the minus 3. And then I need to square all that. And then divide that all by 4. And what's the Young's modulus? And that's 200 giga times by 200 gigapascals. Okay, so I'm working in SI units. Put that all in my calculator. What do I get? 12 times 5 divided by pi times 20 to the minus 10. Square it. Divide that by 4. Times that by 200 to the power of 10 to the 6. And that gives me 9.54 9 times 10 to the minus 4. Uh, so I, it could also be maybe, so that would be in meters. So the other one to look out for is 0.955. I've made that like 10 to the minus 3, so that I know that's going to be millimeters. So I'm looking out for one of these numbers. What have I got? Okay, so that looks like it's A. There's nothing else that looks similar, actually. So it's looking like it's going to be A. So hopefully you agree with me. Let's move on.